mix. Create your own sacred prayer space and then visit it on a regular basis. I wanna encourage you to create your sacred place outdoors. So as you've been doing your prayer walk uh, last week with that habit, uh, did you notice a, a nearby uh, park, uh, a school, a church, a cul-de-sac, an empty lot, uh, a place by the pond? Uh, hopefully you found a place and I wanna encourage you to, as you walk today, uh, see if there isn't a space that you might claim is your own sacred space. I realize for some of you, you're not gonna find that space. And I allow you at that point to go back to your backyard only after you've done your prayer walk. So the assignment looks like this, get out the front door, walk 15 minutes as a dialogue prayer walk, make your way back to your house, get on your back porch, get in your backyard and make that your sacred place. For me, I can walk uh, about uh, 12 minutes and I've, I'm on a, uh, in a state park and I get on the trail there and I have a space on the trail that's sacred to me. And I wanna encourage you to get your own sacred place. You know what I do at my sacred place? That is my space to meet daddy. Uh, I cry there, I rejoice there, I cry out in the name of the Lord there. I dance there. Uh, sometimes yeah, yeah, I don't want people to see me there because I have so much freedom and they wouldn't understand what's going on with me. But I, I kneel, I get on my face before the Lord. Sometimes I'm standing, sometimes I got my arms up. I got an outstretched arm. I'm, I'm praying in faith, uh, but this becomes a sacred place to me. It's a place where I meet with God and I wanna encourage you to, to find such a place and to consecrate it, pray for that space dedicated to God. I even dropped a little bit of anointing oil on mine and said, God, I, I welcome the Holy Spirit to come here. Uh, but if you can, can you personalize that space? Uh, I found people who don't always have theirs outside. They, they've got it in a, a space either in the house or, or some other place that they have around the house. And uh, it becomes their sacred place. They got pictures, uh, they've got symbols, they've got, uh, little uh, figurines and statuettes and, and things like this. And all of these are used to help them uh, make wise and precious use of their sacred place. So one of the best practices of uh, becoming great with God is to have a sacred place. Uh, hopefully it's an outdoor sacred place and to visit it and to personalize it and uh, to use it frequently to come out and to uh, enjoy intimacy with God. Thank you and God bless you.